In this code.org tutorial, we're using Sprite Lab to explore a key concept of programs, functions, or behaviors. They are items we can store code inside, give a name, and use that code wherever we would like. This is going to be fun. Let's get going. Click the Edit button to see how the mystery behavior works. Study the code inside, then make a prediction. Ah, mystery behavior, got it. Whoa, there's code hidden inside of this that actually runs when we do it, huh? Well, name your behavior, mystery behavior. What's this behavior supposed to do? Okay, so here we go. With this sprite, change the sprite size by, oh, so what do we think this does? Mystery behavior, this sprite, change this sprite. So maybe you pick a certain sprite and you change the size by negative one. So what do we think this code will do if that's gonna, Sprite Earth begins change size by negative one. So if it's beginning to, does that mean it continues to? It must. It doesn't say it stops somewhere, maybe? So it's going to definitely change the size down. So the sprite will shrink, right? Because negative. Let's see. Ooh, ah, uh, we did it. Oh, bye, Earth. That was kind of sad. Onward. <laughs> Didn't know we were going like that. All right. Flying the rocket. Change the behavior of the rocket so that it flies upwards in the display area. All right, well, let's see. I want to know what it does right now. Oh, I drop. Okay, well, that seems not great. So let's see. We make our stars cool. Set star size to 75. Okay, so we set the size of that. Make rocket sprite 200 by 150. Oh, yeah, look at X and Y. So this must be at 200, 150. Sprite begins flying. Well, why is it fly down? Oh, let's look inside though, okay? So I'm not sure what this code does. Edit. Whoa, this is like secret code inside of it. This is really cool. So that wind flying block stored this stuff in it, like code. And we could just say flying to make it do this. Okay, so flying. This sprite will move this sprite three pixels south. Wait a minute. Who says flying and they mean dropping? Who did that? Bad name. So three pixels. I want to go north if I want to fly. Go, rocket, go. So we just double check. North. Yeah, onward. Help the rover outrun the robot. Edit the behavior of the rover sprite top. Oh, that's the rover. So that it goes faster than the robot. Well, what's it do right now? Wait, are we supposed to do? Oh, no, we don't get it. We just have to watch it lose. That's sad. Okay, so we want the rover to go faster. Okay, so make a new rover. Cool, at 5200. Oh, yeah, if you look at X and Y. Yep, that's where we're making these. Go east. Okay, so let's see what this is. Driving east. Yep, that's what we need. And this must be the code that runs when we do driving east. So we see driving east, but we have stored all of this code inside of it. Let's see. This sprite goes one pixel east, rotation to random. Oh, so I guess we rotate a little bit and we go one pixel east. Now let's look at this guy. The guy we don't want to be zooming east. Why is his name zoom? Oh, uh, he's going four pixels east. So he's zooming by going four He's just driving. Edit the behavior of the rover sprite so that it goes faster than the robot. Okay, so once we edit the behavior, not just move these. So I'm going to edit the behavior to be 7 because I'm going to be a lot faster. So I'm just editing the behavior of the rover sprite faster. Let's see. Yeah, take that. <laughs> awesome. And what are we doing here? Edit the spinning right behavior. Oh, everything spins. This, this sprite block should be used instead of the costume block. This will make it work for any sprite, regardless of the sprite costume. The this sprite should be used wrapped instead of costume. Where do I use costume? Well, wait a minute, let me read this. Edit the spinning right behavior. So it says spinning right here. I'm going to click edit. Oh, okay. So inside of this, there's like secret hidden code. This is like a function, which we're going to see later on. But let me hit edit on that. And there's secret code inside of this. So. Now that I can see it, what should I do? This sprite block. Oh, so this would let me use any sprite, I guess. And this only means one sprite. And we don't want one sprite. So wait a minute. What if I do this sprite could mean any sprite, whereas this just means one, maybe. OK, let's see. Awesome. Onward. All right. Make a prediction. What will the satellite move towards the galaxy which way will the satellite move towards the galaxy okay can i close the function move south and west edit well do they mean that okay i go south two pixels move south and west west two pixels so south wouldn't that be down and west i think would be the left so down and le le that would make sense right south and that's what it's happening to do right here 
Let's see. Oh, wait. Does it go left first? Nope. Move down. Left. Oh, wait a minute. Trick diagonally. And it's diagonal because these two are going to happen right after each other. Two, then two, then two. So if it's constantly moving two, it will look diagonal. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Onward. Right, what do we have now? Write a new behavior for this astronaut to leave it towards one of the four ships in the display area. Oh, I can pick? Okay, so we get to write a behavior. Cool. All right. Now a behavior, I bet it's create behavior. It's like a function that we'll see later. Now I'm going to call mine, uh, go to UFO, because I want it to go down here. Lead it towards one of the other four ships in the area. Okay, go to UFO is what it will be named. And now what do I do? So now I can do a behavior, I think. Ooh, actually, maybe I want an action. Let's see. Move to, yeah. Maybe that. I'm going to do this. I don't know. 15 west. Uh, south and then east. Let's see what that does. Haha, <laughs> cool. And so that behavior now. This where I go 15, 15, I run it right here once I click on my astronaut and ta-da. Awesome. Onward. Free play, create your own outer space scene. Oh, cool. I know what I'm going to do. Oh, no, it's going to spin and grow. I love that. Okay, so here's the one I made. Set the background. We have these three sprites. When I click on the Earth, my astronaut becomes this alien robot thing and the ship becomes a USO. Pretty cool. At three seconds automatically now, the Earth is going to start to spin and grow. And this is one of those functions or behaviors we've learned about. And then, two, three, bam. Awesome. Onward.